and coach steps up right now and is putting the headset on and, and coach I sat there at halftime and I looked at the box score and you weren't really turning the basketball over uh, rebounding wasn't your favorite but the three-point yeah. shooting really stood out for them and that continued into the second half well it was almost we were we were a step slow you know to the ball game I mean you got to give those guys credit uh, 55 uh, 44 you know that's an NCAA team from a year ago they had about five days to get ready for us since they had a game canceled their last game was canceled uh, so it was a veteran team coming in here on the road and something our young team has to learn is you know we're eight and three we're gonna get the other team's best shot you know they're coming in here uh, you know looking at our record looking at how we've been playing knowing that we're a good basketball team and you know we're gonna get their best shot and they gave it to us today so you have to give them credit uh, they, they were, like I said, they were a step faster to the ball. It seemed like every loose ball they got, or every one of those loose balls turned into a uh, scoring opportunity, and you got to give them credit. They took advantage of it. 44 is a big-time shooter, and, you know, the thing that I was disappointed in was just, you know, the loose balls and then 44 getting shots off. Our whole thing was do not let 44 get a shot. We did not do a good job, and, you know, that, 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 that was the, the, the two main factors in the game. You've talked so much this season about effort and playing the right way. Is this a bit of a learning experience yeah. for your young team that if they don't do the little things, this is what can happen? Well, I think that's happened in the last two games. You know, up at Northern Colorado, you were there. You know, same same thing sort of happened in the first half again. We got to get, you know, learn from this because, like I said, we're going to get the best shot from the other team. They're, you know, they're, they know they're watching us. Their coaches are telling them, you got, you know, this is a, a good bas – we're a good basketball team. So – uh, we have to learn how we have to step up as we continue to go through the season. And, you know, I was actually happy uh, in the second half there. We just kept preaching, hey, stay with it, keep fighting, keep fighting. You know, we did keep fighting. Uh, but each time we kept fighting, I think it happened like two or three times, we got to that point and there would be a loose ball and we didn't get it. They'd hit a big shot. They'd stretch it back out again. Ultimately, I think we got it to eight. We got a wide open three-point shot down here. We missed it. They throw the ball down to 44 in transition. He makes it. You know, that was the game right there because there was still about seven and a half to go. Uh, but I think that was emblematic sort of of the game because as we're not getting loose balls, as it looks like we're a step slow, you know, like I've talked about before, we're playing match basketball, and you know what? We didn't shoot the ball well. That's usually the way it's going to work. Uh, you know, so again, I think you got to give them credit. To your point, we got to use this as a – continue to use every game as a learning experience because that's what it is for us. And, and we're fortunate that – so far this year, we've been able to learn from positive experiences. And you know what? we got to get on a plane tomorrow and go play a road game, and we got to be tough Tuesday. And we're 3-0 on the road. we got a chance on Tuesday, right? That's the beauty of college basketball. we got another game Tuesday. So our guys can show the resolve that's required and the resiliency that's required, and that's what we're going to look for from our guys. Coach, we'll look to see you bounce back on Tuesday right. on the West Coast. Thanks, Rosh.